So here we have a circle with center P, and I've drawn one chord in the circle, which is chord AB. So I'm gonna start by bisecting this chord. I'm gonna identify its midpoint. So if the midpoint is right here, I'm going to connect a radius. This could be a radius or a diameter um, that connects from point P, the center, through that midpoint of this chord. So when I create that, I know already, we'll call this midpoint M, I know that AM is congruent to MB because I, um, M is the midpoint, so that means it has split the segment AB into two equal parts. Now I'm gonna draw in some dotted segments here to create two triangles. So I have triangle AMP and triangle BMP. Now AP and BP are both radii of the circle. So that means that they have to have the same length. The radius is the same from any point on this circle. So I can also add that segment AP is congruent to segment PB. Finally, this little segment here, MP, shows reflexive property. It's being shared by both triangles, so MP is congruent to itself. So now I can see that these two triangles are congruent based on side, side, side congruence. So because they're congruent triangles, I can now apply CPCTC, which is, if we don't remember, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So that means that all of the corresponding angles between these two triangles have to be congruent to each other. For example, this angle here and this angle here are corresponding, so they have to be congruent. Now we can also see that these angles are supplementary because they're a linear pair. Together, these two angles create segment A and B. So because these angles are congruent and supplementary, supplementary meaning their measures add up to 180, each of them has to be a 90 degree angle. They're congruent, so they have the same measure, and those measures have to add up to 180. So that makes both of these angles right angles. This all goes to prove the theorem that any radius that bisects a chord is also going to be perpendicular to that chord. So since this radius here that we drew, since it bisected AB, it goes through the midpoint. That means that the radius is also perpendicular to segment AB, so it creates right angles.